Now let's consider some examples of uh, law of parallelogram of force and law of triangle of force, etc. The first one, two forces, three kg and five kg, acts at a point making an angle of sixty degree with each other. Find the magnitude of the vector. See magnitude of the result can be made. Oh, two vectors are given. Vector P is three kg. Vector Q is five kg. The angle between them is sixty degree. So therefore, so we have to find resultant R. See the formula is R equals square root of P square plus Q square plus two P Q cos theta. Theta equals sixty degree. You know that cos sixty is half. Therefore, R equals very simple square root of three square five square two three into five into cos theta is half. Two two gets cancelled. Therefore, it is nine plus twenty five plus fifteen. That is equal to square root of forty nine. Therefore. Resultant is seven newton. Sorry, seven kg weight. Sorry, seven kg weight. In terms of newton, R is seven into nine point eight newton. So this is the answer. So now let's consider one more problem. The second problem is. Sum of two forces is 50 newton. Sum of two forces is 50 newton. That is, P plus Q is 50 newton. The resultant of the force is 20 newton. R equals 20 newton. And resultant is right angles to smaller force. Resultant is right angle to smaller force. is to put it there find the magnitude of the forces so you have to find p and q now again put it there p plus q put it there in the other way see this this is the resultant sorry this is vector p this is smaller force resultant is perpendicular to the smaller force it happens only if q is like this this is q Not here, I told you. Here, I told you. This is P. This is R. So this is also Q. P plus Q given 15 newton. Magnitude of R is 20 given. So we have to find P and Q. From this, R from the diagram. Square equals R square plus P square. I put that first here. Okay. Q square equals R square plus P square. Therefore, Q square minus P square equals R square. Q minus P into Q plus P equals R square. Q minus P unknown. Q plus P even 50 equals 20 square. See, therefore Q minus P equals 420 square is 400 by 50. So this comes out to be 8. Therefore Q minus P equals 8. Q plus P is 50. So therefore add these two. 2q equals 58. Therefore, q equals 29. If q is 29, p equals 21. So, q is 29 newton and p is 21 newton. So, this is the second example. Okay. Next one. Another example.
forces seven kg weight. So one force is seven kg weight. Second one is fifteen kg weight. And another one is thirteen kg weight. Acting on a particle or in equilibrium, find the angle between the first two vectors. So this is the problem given. Seven kg weight. P is seven kg weight. Q is fifteen kg weight. So this is resultant. If three forces are equilibrium, resultant is opposite to equilibrium. Therefore, I can take it as an R. So therefore, P Q R. So therefore, I can say R equals square root of P square plus Q square plus two P Q cos theta. We have to find the theta now. R square equals p square plus q square plus 2p q cos theta. R square 13 square. P square 7 square. Q square 15 square. 2 into 7 into 15 into cos theta. Therefore, cos theta equals. So, fifteen into thirty, thirty into seven, two ten cos theta. Two ten cos theta is equal to thirteen square minus seven square minus fifteen square. Therefore, cos theta equals one sixty nine. Minus thirty nine minus fifteen square is two twenty five divided by two ten. This is minus half. If you simplify this, this comes out to be minus half. Therefore, theta equals one twenty degree. So likewise, we can calculate P, Q, and.